Hello followers and friends of the Lafayette Plarn Project. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to successfully tie the strips that have been cut from recycled plastic bags. You want to tie these successfully so that both sides of the strip are of the same length and the knot is small. You'll be receiving plastic strips likely collected by color. You can tie the strips all of one color or you can mix them to make a ball of plarn of multiple colors. It will be helpful when you submit these to let us know if they're all of one color or mixed colors. Now let me show you how to do this. You start with two strips and you open the strips and you see that they're loops. I'm going to use two different colors for this one to, for demonstration purposes. Once in a while you'll find one that has not been cut into three inch strips. This one slipped through and is actually six inches. The three inches are about that wide as opposed to one that slipped through the cutting and got to be too wide. So we'll open up the two strips. We put one loop through the second loop and then reach one hand through and take one end of the new loop and let go of the other hand. Then take hold of the opposite color, the gray, or the, the other loop. And sometimes you can just pull this into a nice small knot. Other times that process is not so easy to accomplish because the plastic seems to resist the pulling. And it may seem to hang up like, like you're seeing here. I end up taking my thumb and pulling one end and then trading hands and holding the knot as I pull the final knot so that both sides of the loop are the same length. You don't want to end up with loops where one loop is straight and the other one is bowed. When we go to crochet, it's not possible. We have to stop and untie the knot and retie it. And that's all there is to it. Once you're finished, you can wrap your long chain around. I usually start with a couple of fingers for about 10 rounds and then just wrap into a nice ball. And the balls, some balls that have been submitted are considerable size so you can stop whenever you like and any size ball that you produce is fine. Remember it's helpful to know is your ball of plarn all one color or is your ball of plarn mixed colors because the outcome of the sleeping mat depends on the collection of the plarn. Thank you for your support and help with this project.